Tonight, rescue crews have come up empty after someone living along Leesville Lake called police to report something crashing and then sinking underwater. Uh, the caller thought it was either a boat or a small plane, but search crews have found neither. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is in Bedford County, where that search has just wrapped up. Five hours, that is how long search crews spent on Leesville Lake this evening looking for some sort of unidentified object that someone called in and that they said they saw in the water. But after searching both on top of the water and with dive crews underneath the water, those claims at this point are now marked unfounded. Moonlight guided search crews on Leesville Lake Monday night as they scan the shoreline for anything out of place. Earlier in the day, someone living in the area of Terrapin Point on the Bedford side said they saw something go under. We weren't sure what we had, so... We were just trying to sort that out, ID what we had uh, to make future plans. Search crews believed it was either a boat or small plane. The Bedford County Swiftwater team launched first. Zach Coleman driving the boat, searching with sonar and marking possible pings. And it's dark, the water's real brown, so we really couldn't see much of anything down there. And um, where we were marking stuff at was like 28 feet, so. Really can't see nothing from the top of the water. This was their first time on Leesville Lake as they typically are only called for swift water. Scruggs dive team came in to go under and searched for what was possibly ahead. In the area where they thought maybe they had marked something with their sonar, I, I did find a large tree. And so it's not unusual on, the, on this kind of sonar equipment to see those kinds of things. Although someone did sink a boat last week here, police learned that boat had been recovered over the weekend. Despite no planes, boats, or people reported missing, they stayed in the water into the night. At the depths that the divers had to go tonight, it's zero visibility anyways, same as it would be tomorrow. Uh, but the temperatures and the uh, wind that they're predicting for tomorrow would impact everyone else that was trying to support. Operating in darkness adds serious risk to the equation, but Coleman says it's what they do. It's always cold and dark in our business, so it's no big deal. The Department of Game and Inland Fisheries says at this point this investigation is marked as closed and there will not be anyone back out here on the water tomorrow. But they do say that if there are any more of the reports that come in for some sort of object in the water, they'll be back out here to look. In Bedford County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.